and what I feel from my side of the fence, how posture can influence delivery, okay? Relative to my own perceptions as a bias as a golf coach. This one I hate, okay? This, this one I hate, and this isn't, I want you to consider anything I'm stay, saying now not relatable to you unless you think it's about you, okay? I am gonna go over the two extremes. The one that I find is a game killer is somebody trying to go into too much perfection at address. The idea of too much of a straightened back, too much of a front bend, bum out, too much almost tilt from the pelvis, i.e. that type of move. The idea and notion that the spine needs to be 90 degrees to the, let's say, shaft plane is, in my opinion, the first way to blow out a back, limit rotations. It looks, I get that it looks aesthetically nice, but I don't foresee it being beneficial to any good player. And I think it restricts hip turn. That is my understandings of it. I need to do more research into the biomechanics of it. But when I set up for me in this move and I try and turn to the best of my ability, and I even feel like my right leg standing up, I can't get a big hip turn. Whereas if I stand in different postures, I feel like I can. That works for me. This is why it's my bias. One of the, my big bugbears when I see a player in too much front bend at address is naturally, I am going to predictively think I'm going to see two things. One, I don't perceptionalize the player to be able to stay within the confines of that posture throughout the golf swing. Typically, they come out of their posture in early extension. Ideally, ideally the idea of the pelvis pushing towards the golf ball. Now let's understand that isn't always a negative. Okay, so I'm not stating that if you set up in that posture that you are default going to get to early extension and therefore are not a good player. There are thousands of good players on tour that early extend, Jack Nicholas was one of them, that gets away with it. It's also a power surge. So this notion of early extension is a negative. Depends on other variables. What I do see is the extreme shifts in spine conditions and the lesser player, that difference then becomes quite hard to manage. So typically when I see a player in a quite a lot of front bend, they typically have shorter back swings. They never normally see a player in this type of posture with really long golf swings. So they tend to shorten up, one. Two, they tend to have flatter arm pitches. Very simply, it makes pretty good sense to me that if I'm in quite a lot of front bend, my weight is on my toes. So to off-center that, I often feel like my, if I get my arms to go around me, I sort of re-stabilize my weight. Because if I'm in quite a lot of front bend, I better put something behind me to stabilize myself. Which then leads me to the next step. Players that are in front bend quite a bit typically see the golf clubs sweep on the inside. It's almost like a pre-stabilizer to them as a player that they will often swing the golf club on the inside in a short stuck position and then they come into delivery with a bit more of a power surge with the right hip. Not always the case, but typically your better player will hit a draw and your lesser player will come over the top fractionally. So you might see this player where it comes almost too deep and then over, or you see this player where it goes underneath and shunt. Now both obviously are gonna produce very different patterns, both a reaction to that idea. Relative to how that relates to me as a golf coach, as a player, as a person in my own world, I typically tend to shunt and draw. That tends to be, I very rarely shift it over plane, but when I try and hold my posture and I'm in this type of pattern, I feel like I'm gonna whip it direct, if I just try and hit the shot, I definitely felt that I'm gonna rip it on the inside and hit target. Now, I am pretty much gonna hit target and the reality is I am, dare I say it, talented enough, I'm not talented, but talented enough to hit a shot where I don't create that environment, okay? That's what I feel, what I've just done is what I feel will happen. I feel that if I go into that position, I feel like I'm more than likely to whip it around me and I'm gonna go that way. Now I can try and hit target. However, that is so away from my natural pattern, I feel that my lie angle of my golf club is gonna be affected, and I definitely feel low point is gonna be affected. On the other side of that scenario, 
If I had a tendency, I would rather a player be this side of the scenario. So rather than standing too far away, too much stretch out and too much front bend, I would much rather a golfer stand too close to it and much more upright relative to their normal posture in life. In this scenario, I feel like a different element is gonna happen. So if I feel pretty comfortable here, let's go too close, maybe an inch or two too close. Immediately, I feel like my hand path wants to work outside. I would find it innately difficult to whip it in. Okay, so I genuinely feel like the golfer's moving a little more toe down, I feel like the hand path's gonna go out. That feels like natural, that doesn't feel, I'm allowing the golfer to do what I feel like it should do. I also feel like I'm not really in a front bend. I'm basically just holding the golf club, let it drop, and I'm just basically allowing myself to get into a position where I feel pretty close to the ball. Hands feel a lot higher. So I definitely feel like the golf club wants to work more out. Now from there, I feel like I'd have to work pretty hard to get the golf club in a super deep position. I definitely feel like I'm gonna be more up in front of me. Okay, doesn't mean that if I don't turn really well, I can't get behind me. I'm just stating what feels like pretty, pretty simple biomechanics to me, okay? Now, I also feel like I've got no room, zero room to get back to that golf ball. I feel like I could shank it. So my get out of jail card there is, well, I have to now feel like I sit back into my heels to get back to the golf ball. So I feel naturally the hands are gonna go away. I feel like I naturally have to sit down. Otherwise, I'm gonna hit a shank. I feel like I have to get my body out of the way. So as much as the first one had issues, I feel like I need to move my body in a way that gets out of jail. So I'm gonna let my hands go where they wanna go. Now all of a sudden now, I feel like I'm sitting in a fade. And that is my preference as a golf coach. I'd much rather see a player set themselves up, allow the golf club to work in a place and hit almost a sit down fade. I feel like I have to sit down and out of the way to get room for the golf club. So I'm feeling like I get the golf club to come into delivery because I've created room. My pelvis is swung in a way that allows the golf club to work across the ball from left to right. Now, obviously, the, the more turn I create, the more sit I create, the different types of sit I create will change the pattern. But relative to me standing too close, the ideas are standing too close. My hands naturally want to go away from me. I feel like my hands are going to swing much more up than around just naturally. And I feel like I'm going to have to sit down to get out of the way of that golf ball. When I say sit down, I feel like I'm gonna to have to sit back, almost creating dynamic posture to go through the shot. So if I had a tendency, a pattern, a, a bias, an awareness of bias, I would always rather wanna set a player up closer to their natural DNA and biomechanics, i.e. they spend all day at the office or they, they spend whatever their job scenario is, I would find very rarely I'd find a client that is strong enough in this scenario to be able to hold great dynamics. Too much front bend, too much knee flex, too much of this. I feel that most people then set up too far away from the golf ball, try and react, get the golf ball working too far behind them, and then have to create early extension through the shot. Typically, in slow motion, more people I see here, typically whip it on the inside, get shot on the inside, and get that type of shot early extension, loose posture. That is my experience. More players that I set, see set up too close to it and stand a little more vertical, typically swing on the outside. Typically lack a little bit of turn and can hit down too much left across it. Maybe path works too much out to in. But I do see the better player that stands a little bit closer to it, have a wider takeaway, have a little bit better rotation and definitely a bit more turn. In both of those scenarios, both players have got issues. Both players need to work on things that will help them hit target. Where that relates to you is I definitely see you in a huge bias. I see you dramatically in that front bend scenario that is dramatically affecting your movement. What I would like to see is how you react when you feel like at a dress, you are stood uncomfortably close to it. Almost to the point where the spine is upright. Like almost try and get into the golf ball as close as you can, feeling as tall, like almost uncannily as tall as you can. Like almost the point where the toe's on the ground and how do you feel like you need to move to be able to hit target? That's the conversation I want to get into. Have a go, mate.